California, integral state of the United States of America. It was admitted as the 31st state of the Union on September 9, 1850, and by the early 1960s it was the most populous U.S. state. No version of the origin of California's name has been fully accepted, but there is wide support for the contention that it derived from an early 16th century Spanish novel, Las Sergas de Esplendian means the adventures of Esplendian, that described a paradisiacal island full of gold and precious stones called California. The influence of the Spanish settlers of the 18th and 19th centuries is evident in California's architecture and place names. The capital is Sacramento. California is bounded by the U.S. state of Oregon to the north, by the states of Nevada and Arizona to the east, by the Mexican state of Baja California to the south, and by the Pacific Ocean to the west. From the rainy northern coast to the parched Colorado desert in the south, and from the Mediterranean-like central and southern littoral to the volcanic plateau of the far northeast, California is a land of stunning physical contrasts. Both the highest and lowest points in the 48 conterminous states are in the state of California Mount Whitney and Death Valley, respectively. The former is the culminating summit of the Sierra Nevada, one of the major mountain ranges of North America. The fluid nature of the state's social, economic, and political life shaped so largely by the influx of people from other states and countries has for centuries made California a laboratory for testing new modes of living. California's population, concentrated mostly along the coast, is the most urban in the United States, with more than three-fourths of the state's people living in the Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Diego metropolitan areas. Despite its urbanization and the loss of land to industry, California still leads the country in agricultural production. About one half of the state's land is federally owned. National parks located throughout the state are devoted to the preservation of nature and natural resources. Area 423,967 square kilometers. Population 39,512,223. The heartland of California is the Central Valley which runs for 725 kilometers through the center of the state, forming a trough between the coast ranges to the west and the Sierra Nevada to the east. The valley is the state's agricultural center. Its single opening is the delta through which the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers drain into San Francisco Bay. The valley is sealed off by the Cascade Range to the northeast and by the Klamath Mountains to the northwest. In the far north the terrain is rugged and heavily forested, becoming wetter on the coastal side and drier and barren in the higher northeast. In the south the central valley is closed off by the transverse ranges, most notably the Tehachapi Mountains, which are regarded as a dividing wall between southern and central California. Most of Eastern California is desert. The sparsely settled northeastern corner of the state is a jumble of barren plains and mountains, as well as a volcanic plateau. In the east central region is the Trans Sierra Desert, which extends along the sheer east escarpment of the Sierra Nevada Range and comprises part of the vast interstate Great Basin of the Basin and Range Province. The Trans Sierra Desert ranges from 2,000 to 7,400 feet above sea level. Its largest towns are in the Owens Valley, which was a fertile farmland until its groundwater flow was diverted to Los Angeles through a mammoth series of conduits built in 1908 to 1913. The Sierra Nevada rises just to the west of the Trans Sierra Desert. The eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada is sheer, dropping some 10,000 feet within a 10-mile stretch near Owens Lake. On the west the range slopes in gradually declining foothills toward the Central Valley, comprising the San Joaquin 
and Sacramento River valleys. From the wall that rises near Lassen Peak in the north, the Sierra Nevada extends south for 430 miles to the fringes of Los Angeles. Aside from Mount Whitney 14,494 feet above sea level, 10 other peaks in the Sierra Nevada exceed 14,000 feet in elevation. East-West passes are few but high, some are found at more than 9,000 feet in elevation. There are three national parks in the Sierra Nevada, Kings Canyon, Sequoia, and Yosemite. The last, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978, rises from the purplish foothills of the Mother Lode Country and extends through the ice-carved valleys of the Merced and Chuolum Rivers. Its valleys feature waterfalls and granite domes. Water is chronically scarce in Southern California and the desert regions, but excesses of rain and snow melt cause winter flooding along the rivers of the northern coast. Complex systems of dams and aqueducts transport water from north to south, but not without the protests of those who regard the export of water from their regions as a bar to future growth or as a threat to environmental balance. The Colorado River aqueduct at the Arizona border carries water from that river across the Southern California desert and mountains to serve the Los Angeles metropolitan area. The California State Water Project, launched in 1960, is the largest water transfer system ever undertaken. It is designed to deliver water daily from the Feather River in North Central California to communities as far south as the Mexican border. The largest lake of the Sierra Nevada is Lake Tahoe, astride the California-Nevada border at an elevation of 6,229 feet. A mountain ring alpine lake about 193 square miles in area, it is among the world's greatest average depth and a maximum depth of about 1,640 feet. Elsewhere in the Sierra lie hundreds of smaller lakes, some above the timberline in regions of tumbled granite and smooth-walled canyons. West of the Sierra Nevada is Clear Lake, at 67 square miles. It is the largest natural lake wholly within the state. On the eastern flank of the Sierra are Mono Lake and Owens Lake, both long endangered by agricultural development. California is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States, and not just for its family-friendly theme parks that can keep you entertained for days on end. Like other states along the West Coast, California has gorgeous coastlines, national parks, waterfronts, and even deserts. California comprises some of the major U.S. cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Diego, etc. Some of the places worth visiting are Lake Tahoe, Disneyland, Big Sur, and Napa Valley. There are also iconic pieces of architecture worth a view and the chance to see a celebrity in Hollywood. Whether you are looking for nature, mainstream entertainment, or cultural and educational activities, California has something to offer everyone. Yosemite National Park, gorgeous wilderness rests along the Sierra Nevada mountains. Its granite cliffs and waterfalls are the kind of beauty that only exists along America's west coast, immense, majestic, and breathtaking. The land was so stunning that John Muir, the famous naturalist, worked tirelessly to preserve the Yosemite Valley and the surrounding land as a national park before national parks even existed. With one visit to any spot in the park, it's easy to see what was so worth preserving. Now every generation can experience this pristine and magnificent land just as Muir did a century ago. As one of the most iconic sites to grace the world of sitcom, the Golden Gate Bridge is one stop you just can't miss. It is a massive, towering red suspension bridge that links the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean. 
It is also a California landmark. Tourists come from far and wide to ride on its smooth streets, and to look upon the bay from the bridge. As an actual, functional roadway, it may seem like there isn't much to do here, but the bridge is just the beginning. Of all the Disney themed parks in the world, this is the only one to have been directly supervised by Walt Disney himself during its construction. He envisioned it after visiting various theme parks around the world with his daughters. Wanting to create something for parents and children alike, he designed this park, with such attractions as Adventureland, New Orleans Square, Frontierland, and Fantasyland. Each area, is meant to capture the imagination of all who visit it, by giving it that magical Disney touch. The cliffs and ridges of Big Zua, draped with redwoods and rising right out of the ocean, are an unparalleled beauty to behold. The population here is sparse, but the hiking trails and vistas keep people moving through on a regular basis. The construction of Highway 1, which weaves along the edge of the mountains, opened up the previously inaccessible region to arts and tourism, attracting the likes of Jack Kerouac and Hunter S. Thompson to its rustic locale. Universal Studios Hollywood Studio and Theme Park is one of the oldest film studios still in operation. What started as a guided tour through the Universal Film Studios has become a theme park with a host of rides and attractions that have evolved over time. The Simpsons, Shrek, and Despicable Me are some of the most popular franchises on display here. There are also water shows and stunt shows that are performed live. Characters that wander the grounds greeting guests include Beetlejuice, the Blues Brothers, and Marilyn Monroe. Death Valley National Park is the driest, hottest part of the United States. Located near the Sierra Nevada mountains, it hosts a wide range of geological features such as valleys, canyons, salt flats, sand dunes, and more. Hiking is a popular draw, though it is only permissible outside of the hot summer months. Sites can also be taken in by car or motorcycle. Overnight campers often discover that Death Valley's stargazing is second to none, due to its remote location and dark night skies. Nestled in between California and Nevada, Lake Tahoe is the largest freshwater lake in the United States after the Great Lakes. The natural beauty of the lake nestled in the pine-covered mountains is breathtaking. Its high altitude makes it an alpine paradise for skiers, snowmobilers, and other winter outdoor enthusiasts. In the summer months, hiking, biking, and water sports are the main attraction. Hart Castle is an excellent example of the extravagant American lifestyle during the golden age of the early 20th century. The castle belonged to William Randolph Hearst, a media tycoon and built by a famed woman architect, Julia Morgan. The Channel Islands is an archipelago located just off the coast of California in the Pacific Ocean. Five of the eight islands make up the Channel Islands National Park, established in 1980 to preserve the natural scenery of the undeveloped islands. San Francisco is known for its steep hills, one of the architectural wonders to combat the steepness of the slopes for vehicles in a one-block stretch of Lombard Street. Lombard Street is considered the most crooked street in the world, complete with eight hairpin turns.